hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video so i, I am here to um do a video on uh, law of attraction sometimes early last year i came across a video just on my youtube home page and i watched this girl talking about law of attraction like how to manifest everything that you want in life i was like um attracted to this video because i was like hmm let me give you background information you guys i was born and raised a christian so i was born in the united methodist church so that's the church that i've always known so i am a christian that's my background so i believe in god you know what i'm saying so when i saw this video i was like what are they saying so i decided to um go ahead and watch this video and listen to what this um lady was saying so i'm going to be doing my makeup while i talk to you guys like, so i've done my eyebrows off camera and i'm just gonna go ahead and start applying my makeup so i've already applied my moisturizer which is the simple moisturizer and i've also applied the body shop insta blur because your girl is not getting any younger i need to smooth those fine lines <laughs> on my face okay so i will be using the revolution palette this palette and so for my transition shade i'm gonna be using this shade you see right here so long back in zimbabwe before i came here 2001 or year 2000 uh, one of my aunties um she's catholic she asked me to go to this uh holy place in motoko um this place is called john bradburn center so the center was mainly for people with uh, leprosy so you know um, john bradburn is a saint so one of my aunties um invited me to go there and she's like you know we need to go to this place you know people are getting miracles um their prayers are being answered and everything like that and i was like hmm okay so you know you know when you're younger you're just like you know want to experience whatever people are saying so i was just like okay let's go so she took me there we arrived there we had a good time like you could actually sense that this place is holy like the moment you step foot around the area you can actually see sense this feeling like this place was holy if you've been to that place if you're a Zimbabwean you know what I'm saying that place feels holy so I was there and I felt you know the presence of God you know so um there was this one small thatched house or a room and we went into that room and um there were a lot of like things like in there so because the John Bradburn was uh, Catholic so he had a lot of grottos you know Maria Jesus and everything like that and there was lots of prayers in the house and lots of pieces of papers and there was like a big drum like an open drum and in that drum and my auntie was like you know what uh, people are getting their uh, prayers answered so if you have anything that you'd like to ask God for just write it down and for me it was like someone telling me to write a prayer down like seriously I've never experienced that I've never been taught to do that you know what i'm saying you know when you're young and like everything's going well you don't really have much like things that you want in life the only thing that i wrote that i remember was um god i would like to go to england actually i said god i would like to go to london for me it was like a test because i was like hmm, we'll see if this will definitely manifest you know what i'm saying so that's all i wrote into onto that smoke piece of paper and i folded the paper and i dropped it in the bin where there are like thousands of prayers in there we had a wonderful time there wonderful experience after that we went home and we got on with our lives and i actually like completely forgot that you know i had done something there so you know when i did the prayer uh, like request i knew that my dad would be able to send me to england because he had a good, very good job so i knew that he would definitely do that if he wanted to you know what i'm saying so one of my aunties auntie pro was already here and uh god bless her she wrote a letter to my mom and he requesting that i should come and join her here um and she actually called my mom and my mom called me and she showed me the letter and she was like oh my god you know you can't believe this news that was now in 2002 you can't believe this auntie pro wants you to come to uk i was like jeez you know i jumped i screamed i was like me really she surprised me like she surprised me it was a very good surprise so i was like oh my god you know i had to convince my dad that i wanted to go even if my dad didn't want me to go twice my dad rejected that i should come here uh, and then finally he agreed and then i boom i was in london like seriously just like that so i'm gonna apply this sh this shade on my eyelid what happened guys was so amazing like to me i never actually 
thought about the prayer request that I requested, you know what I'm saying? It never crossed my mind that it's because of what I requested from God. Like, I, it never crossed my mind. So, you know, I came here um, years later, like, <laughs> only last year, like, to be honest, only last year, I was, you know, like I said, I came across Law of Attraction. So when I started to, you know, understand about you know journaling and writing things down that words you write are very powerful and i was like i did that i did that to myself i did ask god back in 2001 that i wanted to go to london and here i am i've been here for over 16 17 years now i'm like oh wow i remember there were times that i would be going to work and just panic like the train was delayed or there's so much traffic um i won't make it on time i would just snap out of it i'm like yeah i'll get to work on time and i'll definitely get to work on time i'll be there before work starts you know um things like that i've already been manifesting things in my life of which to be honest with you guys i used to manifest big things about my life as well okay so words you say with your mouth are very powerful your thoughts are very powerful I used to manifest all bad things. I used to manifest that I am um, so unlike in life. Everything bad happens to me. Um, nothing good comes to me. Um, I was cursed. I used to believe that, you know, um, I have no purpose on this earth. I used, I used to just, you know, believe in so many bad things about myself. Like, I just wanted to let you know that the things that we think about are very powerful. Things that we write down are very very powerful the law of attraction states that you know whatever you think in your mind whatever your thoughts focuses on that will definitely come to reality you know what i'm saying like it will definitely come to reality like if you think you're going to be late at work you will definitely be late if you think um you're unlucky you will be unlucky for the rest of your life whatever you say in your life is very powerful because the universe actually takes all that and says yes because oh god knows yes god will never say no so i'm going to be using foundation by nyx so this is actually the first time that i've used this foundation is a stay matte but not flat um shade number coco sometimes in life we get stuck and we think that oh my god my life is not moving the way i want it to move um and you don't believe in yourself you have this self-hate and you think you don't look beautiful and you think bad things are happening to your life the more you think about those negative thoughts the more you concentrate and dwell on the negative thoughts the more they manifest in your life you understand what i'm saying so the more you say that i'm bored at work that job will be boring forever it will never be good for you it will never be a good place for you to work you'll be regretting working there the rest of your life the manager if you complain about the manager you'll be complaining for the rest of the time that you'll be working at this place so it's all because of our our thoughts and the words that we manifest about ourselves you know i said to myself oh but i used to manifest you know things without knowing that i'm actually manifesting things i used to pray for a lot of things and they would happen you know what i'm saying i believe that but you know sometimes as a human being you lose uh, focus and you, you you start hating yourself you start saying all the negative things about yourself your thoughts become negative everything just goes wrong you know what i'm saying and we we don't realize that we are actually doing this to ourselves we're actually manifesting bad things to happen to us you know what i'm saying so when i discovered law of attraction i went ahead and purchased the, the power and um the secret these books are just like oh my god you guys need to get the books um the first thing that i did actually was watch the movie the secret and then i went ahead and you know bought the books and i've been reading these books like seriously guys i don't want to lie to you for me to reach 100,000k is something that i manifested i prayed for and it did happen because i struggled a lot to reach 100,000k i thought like i was not being noticed mainly because it was my negative thoughts because i used to think that i'm from zimbabwe my english is not good and who is gonna like listening to me or watch me an african girl do this like you know even if i would see other um black people on youtube i'll be like okay but they're british they're born british or they're black american so i always thought like hmm, i will never make it in this youtube world because i'm african and i don't speak proper english my english is broken for days <laughs> you know so i used to think that no one would like to subscribe to me or watch my videos so i actually manifest all these other 
bad things myself. I've never actually shared this with you because I am such a private person. I don't share my personal self with um, the public. That's just me. I keep to myself. I don't say much about my life. So I just wanted to, to share this story with you guys so that you know what I'm, where I'm coming from when I'm saying that. Your thoughts and your words are very powerful in your life. I just wanted you to, to know that when I was pregnant, I did all the tests and the, all the tests came back fine. Um, I'm using Revolution... Makeup Revolution Concealer and in the shade C13.5. So uh, when the test came back, my God, I was told that uh, my son had Down syndrome. And I was like, oh my God, guys, you can't believe it. You know, when it's your first pregnancy and you were waiting for this pregnancy and it came and you're happy, everyone's happy that you're pregnant. And oh my God, I think I had passed the first was it during the first trimester? I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I was just like shocked. That was the shock of my life. And I was like, there's no Down syndrome person in my family or my husband's family. I started thinking, where is this coming from? Why am I so unlucky? Why am I so... I started crying. I broke down like, guys, I cried so badly. I was just like, what is this? Like, God, why me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I cried. I didn't believe that this could happen to me. So what happened next is when they told me about that, they told me about the dangers and, you know, you know how they do it. They'll sit you down. They'll tell you a lot of things about... Um, going ahead with the pregnancy when you, when you know that your child is down syndrome um after the child is born what you face living with um, a disabled child oh my god it was just a lot of information i was crying and then the midwife was like are you ready for all that are you prepared for all that and i was just like i don't know i was crying so they said to me the only option is either you terminate the pregnancy now or you carry on with the pregnancy but you have to remember what we discussed about what happens living with a disabled child you know all these things you know <laughs> all these complicated things and i was like oh my god so you know asked my husband um what should i do should i terminate it and then my husband was like i don't know it's up to you because my husband is one person who believes that I have to make the decision myself because if he tells me what to do, I will blame him in future. Like if it wasn't for you, I would, I would be having my child right now. So he was like, you know, it's up to you. What do you think? Do you want to terminate the pregnancy? And I was like, I don't know. I'm confused. I met this other consultant. I was at the hospital and they were, they were already discussing um, that I should see this consultant so we can have um, a, another test which they call amniocentesis or something like that where they have to like insert a needle and go down to the baby directly and get some fluid and get to know whether your baby truly has it. That was the other option. And I was like, okay, so I was actually willing to do that. And then I made this consultant, um, and he's African, and he was like to me, sister, do you know what? Between you and me, I'm gonna tell you something. I was in the same position as you when I had my child, and he's like, um, I'm telling you, these things are just like it's a survey that they've done that one in five or whatever, but he said it's not based on our own ethnicity, it's based on the people in England. So I was like, oh, okay. And he said to me, you know what? If I were you, I would keep the pregnancy and trust in God and see what happens. You know, just don't terminate the pregnancy. Don't go through any processes. Just just leave it. Just refuse everything. Just go ahead with the pregnancy. Be happy. Everything will work out fine. You know, when you trust someone so badly, because I wanted this child, so I was like, okay, I'm going to trust this consultant and I'm going to refuse to do a further test. And, you know, because it was just draining me. It was stressing me badly. So I was like, okay, um, so when the midwife came in, she's like, oh, oh if you discussed about with the consultant about the amniocentesis, what if you use the other tests? And I was like, yeah, um, the, the doctor did tell me about it, but um, I've decided that I don't want any more further tests. I'm going to carry on with my pregnancy. So I'm, I'm going to use Sasha Buttercup setting powder just to set my highlight. So I said, um, I'm going to go ahead with my pregnancy. And the midwife was like shocked and you know you know how it is when they they try to tell you all the try to scare you tell you all the things that you know will you be able to cope because it's hard to cope with a disabled child the needs what have you think about 24-hour care what 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 
you know, I was like, I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready for, for it. I'm ready. That's all I said to her. I was like, I'm not terminating this pregnancy. I'm going to go ahead with it and I'm ready. And she was like, okay, go home and think about it. Yeah, so I went home just as well, spoke to my husband again. And he's, he kept saying that it's up to you. Do whatever you think is right. Because he knew I wanted the baby. So there was no way he was going to say, you know, get rid of it. Like, you know, you know, when you're a Christian as well, you, we don't believe in terminating pregnancy. So for me, it was like, it was so hard. So I went home and I started praying so hard. I prayed, guys, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. And I prayed every single minute, every single time I'm sitting down, I'm there Yeah, so every single time I would sit down and I'm touching my tummy, I'm touching my belly like this. I'm praying, I'm manifesting that God, this child is no Down syndrome. I was rebuking the devil, like seriously. Sorry guys. Um, sorry guys, that's why I don't like story, storytelling because most of the time I do get emotional. I do apologize, but yeah. I'm trying to compose myself so um i would pray every single time i'm touching my tummy i'm praying i'm manifesting that god i'm gonna give birth to a healthy child no weapons raised against me shall prosper and guys i was like in god this child is going to be healthy father i rebuke spirit of down syndrome i rebuke the spirit god um i'm using my mark studio fix it's almost finished guys so I went ahead with the pregnancy and guys, to my surprise, guys, when I gave birth to my child and then they came to me and they were like, everything is fine. I was like, you know, to me, I, di I didn't believe it. I was like, what do you mean? They said, oh, everything is fine. Your baby is fine. So they gave me my baby, no sign of dancing. And I was like, what about, they said, no, the baby doesn't. I was like, Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Like that day was the happiest day of my life. Like. I felt like, you know, hold on guys. I felt like what would have happened if I had terminated this pregnancy? I felt so guilty. I felt so bad. But I was so happy that God gave me the strength to carry the pregnancy. And I don't know how that happened that I met this consultant who told me not to go ahead with terminating pregnancy. Like seriously, I could have terminated my baby and he's so healthy 100% he is very clever intelligent at school like oh my god he's just like you know something that when I look at him I think sometimes God your grace you know I just see God in everything so I just wanted to say to you guys that it is a manifestation when you manifest something it will definitely happen because if I had not manifested that my child was going to be healthy, if I had not refused this Down syndrome thing, they were telling me my child would be Down syndrome right now. You know what I'm saying? But I had strong feelings. I had so much emotion when I was praying. I would be crying. I would be imagining a healthy born child. I would be imagining um, what I was going to hear. All the tears. I was just like manifesting and manifesting and crying, manifesting. I'm going to use Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife as a highlighter. So, you know, I just wanted to say to you guys that, you know, the things that we ask God for, he'll give us. So when you're praying to God or when you're asking for something from the universe or from God, make sure you're being specific. Like, I prayed that my child would never have that Down syndrome, no disability. Guys, I rebuked everything. Like, I would be crying and praying and manifesting that my child is healthy. And pray for whatever you hope for, whatever you're faithful. It will definitely come you know to reality if you pray for it if you're being specific so with law of attraction you have to be specific if you need hundred thousand subscribers you need to pray for one hundred thousand subscribers because if you just pray for many subscribers you could just have five five is many it's a number it's many it's not it's greater than one so you have to be more specific of what you want if you are praying for a car you need to be more specific god i'm praying for a range rover a Vogue or vela i'm praying for a, a mercedes benz this a class or what you need to be specific because if you just pray for a car god will give you a car i mean you will give you a car <laughs> and when you're praying for this car you have to be specific whether you're praying for a brand new car or because if you don't do that you're gonna get a car because you ask for a car god gives you a car if you put yourself down all the time or you think bad about yourself all the time that's what the world will see that's what you attract more that's what you get so if you bring out positivity to the public or to people 
or to the universe you get positivity vibes back so if you're someone who's very negative about their life i used to be very negative about my life like i said so i used to attract all the negative things from from the universe from god i used to you know bad things were just happening because i was attracting them that's what i dwelled on like that's what i was constantly thinking you know so it was manifesting because everything i was thinking was manifesting and it was shocking because it, it kept happening because it was about my thoughts my thoughts and my words were very powerful so i kept getting all these bad things because i did that to myself so i just wanted to encourage you guys that you know don't think bad about yourself don't don't bring yourself down start um being grateful for everything that i have start being grateful for your life start being grateful for everything like there's power and gratitude you guys we have a lot of things to be grateful for be careful on what you wish for or pray for or talk about or think about just make sure your thoughts are aligning well with what you want in future so yeah um thank you so much guys for some positive feedback in my previous video like i am reading your comments one by one and when i get to to comment i'll definitely um, like your comment and respond and which is why i'm actually doing this video a few of you guys um have asked me to do like um real life kind of um videos or you know encouragement videos i'm just trying to build my confidence because i feel like i'm mostly here to do tutorials i share what i feel like is good to share with you guys especially words of encouragement because i've been through a lot in my life and i feel like i have a lot to share with you guys uh, so definitely i will be doing more of these kind of uh, videos you know don't be surprised if whatever you suggested is popping up in the next video because yes i am reading those comments and i i like i said i was taking notes like every single time someone says something um the request or something that i should do because i did ask you guys for suggestions and did so big up to you guys like you are awesome like i'm loving this i'm just gonna use my mac lipstick uh velvet teddy i love this lipstick it's very matte i love matte lipstick so remember to be positive just remember not to hate yourself don't think low about yourself have that confidence like whatever it is whether people say that you are chubby people say that you are fat people say all the main things about you you're tall your hair doesn't grow like i do get loads of those like your hair doesn't grow your hair is been at the same stage for the past five six years like if i believed what um people were saying to me or people say to me about my hair i wouldn't be here today i wouldn't have 177,000 you guys i wouldn't be having you guys i would be making these videos like seriously i decided not to listen to the negativity and focus on what is good for me and focus on what i benefit from doing this and focus on how many people i am actually helping out there like seriously most people do re relate to me because they do have the same kind of hair their hair doesn't grow as fast as other people's hair or their hair is short or you know what i'm saying so i feel like if i wasn't that strong if i didn't believe in myself like seriously i would have given up youtube a long time ago because the comments are draining they can be draining they can be destructive as well they can just bring you down and if you start to believe whatever people are saying it will bring you down you can just easily close your channel down but i focus because i know the purpose why i'm doing this i know why i'm concentrating on this i know that i have passion for this that's why i don't really give up although sometimes yes i do have some setbacks that i feel like i can't do this anymore but you know you guys are always there encouraging me to keep going and that's what we like like you're having positive people around you if um all of you were negative and would have told me that you know yeah just 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 close it just shut it like seriously just go i would have just you know listened to you guys because that it means that's what i would have attracted so definitely i would just follow but because you know you guys you have positive vibes you know i keep going you keep me going and i do appreciate you guys like seriously i appreciate you so much i appreciate you so much never underestimate yourself like no matter where you come from um, the law of attraction did help me as well as a christian it did help me a lot you know my faith is growing and i feel like i'm actually happy and i'm good and i'm like you know when you just feel like you feel good you feel like you have a purpose on this earth you start feeling like you know appreciating all the good things you have like just being here on this earth is just something that i'm so grateful for i hope you guys did enjoy this video and please guys don't forget thumbs up this video also comment rate share subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now